friends for the dual starter you use when you press the push button your contactor will be turned on if you want to turn off this contactor then press the stop push button you must have seen somewhere that in this dual starter when you press start push button contactor is turned on but when you release the button contactor is turned off so this type of dual starter is known as inching type dual starter it means till the time you press the push button your contactor will remain on and on releasing push button contactor will be turned off this inching type dual starter is mostly used in cranes like you must have seen the cranes used for lifting the weights in these cranes when you press the push button the motor will run till the button is pressed on releasing button motor will stop apart from this there are many machines in which machine is operated by pressing push buttons when we release button machine is turned off so friends today in this video we are going to learn both inching type and non inching type wiring of contactor so now we have to perform two type of wiring so we have to use a selector switch by using selector switch we use contactor in two different ways with respective wiring what i am going to do you will understand later so here i have a selector switch and inside this there is a lamp means an indication is present inside how to glow this indication or in which condition this must glow we'll also be going to discuss later the selector switch i have now is a normal selector switch only difference is here you can see that a symbol of lamp is present this means to glow the lamp which is present inside a separate contact is attached we all know that how the wiring of dual starter is done so i'm not going to explain right now so here your normal dual starter and the wiring in this case is known as non inching type means when you press push button for once contactor will remain on till the time you didn't press the stop push button if you want to make this same contactor inching type then what you have to do is first turn off this mcb and this wire is used for holding circuit it means when we turn on the contactor and it must remain on for that we connected this wire i am cutting this holding circuit wire and after this look at this wire here this wire needs to be connected with the selector switch the selector switch we have now has both no and nc contact if you want you can use nc or if you want no you can also use this we always use no contact so right now i am using no contact only take this wire and connect with no contact on the selector switch at one point we provided input power supply so at the output terminal we are going to connect this wire I connected the wire at output terminal of NO contact. I am turning on the MCB. When MCB is on, and if I press the start push button, you can see contactor turned on. On releasing button, contactor turned off. You can see it turns on and off, on and off. Means this type of wiring is of inching type. Now, if I change the position of selector switch, what happens in this condition? Let's see. In this condition, when I press button, contactor goes to on condition. even on releasing the push button contactor remains on to turn off this contactor i have to press this stop push button overall using this same selector switch this contactor can be made as inching type or can be made as non inching type now here at the selector switch an indication is provided how the wiring of this indication can be done and in which condition it can be done let's understand i want this contactor to be used as holding type means on pressing push button contactor must remain on and on pressing stop push button it turns off at this time indication lamp must glow so this kind of wiring is simple what you have to do is the indication of selector switch has two terminals which is provided here at this side one terminal is there and at this side another terminal is there i am using a black wire and at neutral power supply here which is at a2 terminal at this same terminal connect this wire take other end of the wire and at the selector switch where indication is present so at the input side of indication like from here we provided input power supply at the same side connect neutral wire with indication lamp terminal now at this selector switch the second terminal of indication lamp provide the phase supply at first terminal we already provided neutral power supply now at the second terminal we have to provide phase supply from where we are going to provide phase supply let's see on turning on the selector switch at this output terminal here we receive phase supply for holding at this output terminal we are going to connect another wire means total two wires are connected at output terminal take this other end of wire and provide the phase supply to the indication lamp means from here it will receive phase supply so at this indication lamp of the selector switch after providing phase and neutral supply wiring is completed i already turned on the mcb right now you can see this selector switch is in off condition 
so none of the indication is glowing. If I rotate this at this side means select the position of this side, you can see indication lamp is glowing. Indication of selector switch is glowing, this means this contactor will work as normal DOL starter. See, I press start push button, contactor turns on. For turning off, I have to press stop push button. If I turn off the selector switch, indication lamp glowing also turned off. After this, when I press start push button, contactor turns on and on releasing start push button, contactor turns off. You can see contactor on, contactor off. So any of the dual starter can be made inching type or non-inching type when in holding circuit at the NO contact of selector switch, connections are performed. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, give like on my video. If you are new to the channel, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this video.